A baby lost from civilization lives with the apes in Bukuvu, an unexplored part of Africa, until a chance encounter with a beautiful heiress introduces him to a whole new world. 25 years ago, a plane passed by Bukuvu and crashed into a remote mountain. The passenger survived but never found the baby named George. As time passed, the rambunctious toddler learned to swing from tree to tree while his ape friend Ape kept him out of trouble. George also found a pet dog in the body of an elephant called Shep. The human adjusted well to his new life as he remained utterly healthy despite occasionally bumping into trees. Years later, George has become an adult and is living his carefree life. Not so far from his home, an heiress named Ursula enthusiastically explores the jungle with her local guides, headed by Kwame. As she gives a virtual tour of her lodging, she jumps in surprise upon seeing her fiancé, Lyle, who arrives uninvited. The overly zealous lover gives her a smooch, explaining that he hired experienced trackers Max and Thor. The fiancé rushes to bring Ursula home while disregarding her plans. Ursula gently tells him she won't return since she's scheduled to climb the mountains to see the apes. The trackers volunteer to send her, but they insist on having the guides accompany them since there's the white ape people have been talking about. Ursula becomes intrigued, so Kwame narrates the legend of a seven-foot white creature that roams the jungle with his mournful calls. Lyle interrupts Kwame out of this interest, but Ursula gently insists on doing what she came here for. As the intruders approach the ape mountains, the primates warn George about the humans using their bongogram. The jungle king scouts his territory and swings over the unsuspecting intruders while occasionally colliding with trees. Hours later, the explorers spot Ape Mountain. Kwame leads them across a hanging bridge and firmly warns them to be cautious. But the airhead Lyle deliberately swings the bridge, causing Enduga, one of the guides, to fall off. Fortunately, he survives with only a few injuries, and Lyle mumbles his complaint about how incompetent the guides are. Kwame's men call him profanities in their native tongue. Sensing the hostility, Lyle presents them with peace offerings such as cigars, a revolver-shaped lighter, and a Polaroid camera. The guides show bewilderment, but Lyle soon discovers the joke is on him since the men are entirely civilized. Embarrassed, he drags the laughing Ursula away despite the woman's warnings that they shouldn't explore alone. As expected, they find themselves in trouble as the lion appears. Lyle runs away from it, but miserably trips on a branch and hits his head, making him faint. Ursula braces herself in front of the fierce lion when suddenly, George swings between her and the beast. The giant feline can only close its eyes as the king of the jungle collides with a tree. The two kings circle each other to measure their enemy's strengths. The feline pounces on George and they brawl on the ground. He runs to the rubber tree and bounces back to hit the lion. Ursula watches in amazement upon seeing George carry the lion and spin it around like a toy. Another lion arrives, but this time, George grabs Ursula and they swing away from the giant kitty. Unfortunately, he fails to avoid a tree and Ursula gets hit, fainting in the king's arms. George stares at the beautiful woman and finds her appearance funny. Simultaneously, Lyle sees a white ape whisk Ursula away amidst this confusion. Afterward, George brings Ursula to his treehouse at the heart of Ape Mountain. Meanwhile, Lyle realizes the shame he'll face once people discover how helpless he was during the attack. Therefore, he pretends to come from a brawl with the giant ape to save his fiancée. The monkeys in the area mock his cowardice upon witnessing his farce. The following day, Ursula awakens inside a floral decorated hut anticipating seeing her savior. However, Ape enters, wearing eyeglasses and an apron carrying her breakfast. They both scream in surprise until George arrives with a bunch of bananas but spoils his grand entrance by tripping. Ursula thinks she's dreaming but freaks out upon hearing Ape talk. George explains that the ape is his friend and the heiress, who is in shock upon seeing a talking and reading ape with Tarzan wannabe, blabbers about the oddity of her dream before fainting again. The jungle man tells Ape that the woman's physique is funny, but the primate explains that the guest is a female from the same species as George. Ape acts like an animal in front of their guest since she seems overly flustered. The following day, Ursula goes down the treehouse elevator. George happily greets her and the heiress thanks him for saving her. However, she explains that she has to return. The jungle man calls Shep to help them. Ursula hears echoing barks followed by an earthquake before she sees an elephant running to them while wagging its tail. George introduces Shep to his guest and they play fetch before the two humans ride the elephant to return Ursula to her companions, who are also looking for her. As the day ends, the heiress finds herself enjoying the company of the jungle man, forgetting her need to return. While they rest, the apes play the bongogram, and Tuki, a hornbill, informs George that the little monkey needs help. The king goes to his subject and discovers that other monkeys are bullying it. He relays the situation to Ursula and whispers a solution to the little monkey. 
The lion Gorge encountered yesterday arrives, and the little monkey imitates the jungle man's howling, making the feline leave. The little monkey becomes a hero in the eyes of other monkeys, and the two humans satisfactorily watch the interaction while the lion secretly winks at George. Meanwhile, Kwame and his group find the king's footprints which trigger Thor and Max's desire to see the legendary white ape. On the other hand, George teaches Ursula the ways of the jungle and shows off his vine swinging skills, but he collides with the tree again. The following day, the jungle man's feelings for Ursula awaken, so he decorates himself with flowers to make himself look attractive. Ape notices this and teaches him the primate's ways to attract the female. George diligently follows everything by puffing his cheeks, making a disgruntled expression while expanding his chest to make himself look bigger. Meanwhile, the guides have been conspiring to drop Lyle on the next cliff they pass. Though an airhead, his survival instincts kick in, so he convinces them to drop their plan using the native dictionary he has. Unfortunately, he gives them a speech about letting him order fried clams, so they'll have smallpox tomorrow. The guides laugh while Max grabs a chance to insist on paying the natives to capture the white ape. And Dugo suddenly tells them in English to double the price if they want their help, surprising Kwame, who's unaware they can speak English. Ursula and George spend a peaceful time together at a waterfall in the jungle. The king tries to use the chance to court her using the primate's ways, but the heiress turns confused upon seeing his swelling face and sudden ape-like behavior. That evening, George confides to Ape and the brother hands him a book about human courtship, so the jungle man approaches Ursula again. The heiress notices his crocodile tooth pendant and the king tells her that the reptile gave it as a sign of gratitude. Ursula also shares her cereal box ring and hands it to George to thank him. Sensing the romantic atmosphere between the two, the apes play music for them. The king convinces Ursula to dance and she finally gives in, acting as foolish and free as possible. The following day, the guides draw dangerously close to throwing Lyle away. The prideful man finally has enough and loudly declares that he should lead the group, so he stomps forward. He miserably trips and falls face first on elephant manure, making him a laughing stock once more. To cover up his embarrassment, he instructs them to hand over his lighter as he smokes a cigar. And Dugo grabs the revolver-like lighter, but he discovers two in the bag. He randomly gives one to Lyle, and just as the man is about to light a cigar, he hears Ursula's voice. The fiancé calls out to her, but Max covers his mouth to remind him to be stealthy. Thor tells the guides that they can stop here as he excitedly prepares his hunting weapon. Kwame and his group can only stare at them, understanding their evil intentions in the ape's home. Max, Thor, and Lyle soon arrive at the treehouse, surprising Ursula. Lyle hurries to give her a smooch, but his fiancé avoids it. The heiress points out how the coward left her alone with the lion, but her fiancé tries to gaslight her by saying she can't remember what happened. Meanwhile, Max and Thor notice Shep and target it for ivory. Simultaneously, Lyle insists on dragging Ursula home, but the woman calls George for help. Ape realizes that the hunters are aiming for Shep, so it jumps out of the treehouse and yells at the elephant to run. George rushes toward the poachers, but Lyle thinks that the jungle man is targeting him. So he pulls the trigger off his lighter, only to discover that it's an actual revolver. Fortunately, he survives, and the heiress flies him home to get treated. Meanwhile, Max and Thor get deported, as the guides identify the culprit who shot George among the suspects. Lyle sticks out as a sore thumb from the line of natives presented to Kwame's group, and Andugo makes fun of his futile effort to hide. On the other hand, the poachers plan to capture the talking ape and put up a circus, especially since George is out of the jungle. Simultaneously, Ursula and the injured George arrive in San Francisco. Beatrice, the heiress's mother, immediately calls her daughter to check on her. That evening, the bank heiress and the king stand on the balcony of Ursula's skyscraper residence. George yells to call his friends, and the woman gently explains the difference between the three house and her abode. The following day, Betsy, Ursula's best friend, arrives to assist her with the unusual guest. The best friend is shocked as George steps out in his birthday suit and tells the heiress he slipped while bathing. Ursula frantically covers his privates with a book and a bowl and pushes him away. She asks her best friend for advice on telling her parents about Lyle and George, but Betsy senses Ursula's fondness for the jungle man. However, their serious discussion is ended when they notice George wearing a dress. So they go shopping, and the jungle man discovers that he looks good in suits. As the two walk home, Beatrice coincidentally spots them together, so she immediately calls Lyle and learns he's still in Africa. Afterward, the heiress tells George to stay indoors and enjoy himself while she goes out to work. Ursula, accompanied by Betsy, hurries to the company to inform her father, Arthur, about the engagement cancellation, but they're surprised as an engagement party greets them. At home, George watches TV and sees a romantic commercial of a couple drinking coffee. He concludes that if he drinks coffee, the heiress will like him. 
He eats powdered coffee and undergoes caffeine overload. Unable to restrain himself, he sets out on an adventure in a dance studio where he plays the bongo and climbs the Bay Bridge in fascination. Coincidentally, a parasailer got stuck in the bridge's cables, so George decides to help. In the company, Betsy urges Ursula to tell Arthur the truth, but before she can talk, her father directs her attention to the live broadcast of the Bay Bridge commotion. They see George preparing to swing using a rope he randomly found, so Ursula hurriedly goes to him. After a while, the jungle man courageously swings to the parasailer while Ursula hitches a boat ride to get to him. George successfully untangles the parasailer from his parachute and the grateful man goes down to the awaiting rescuers. Unfortunately, George gets caught in the chute and hovers in the sea. Ursula calls him frantically and he navigates to the boat, colliding with the window as he lands. George's good deed is broadcasted in the local news and Beatrice sees him and her daughter hugging each other. Meanwhile, Max and Thor waste no time capturing Ape using a tranquilizer. The clever primate can only request Toki to notify their king. In San Francisco, Ursula feels emboldened by George, so she musters her courage to tell her parents that she won't marry Lyle. Beatrice reacts hysterically, even if her daughter explains the events in Africa, while Arthur respects her decision. The mother sternly tells Ursula that the marriage will push through once Lyle returns. The family heads out to look for George, and he swings in front of them, crushing the engagement cake. That evening, Beatrice continues the engagement party, where influential people come to celebrate. On the other hand, the ladies feast on George's wild and free appearance as he plays with the horses. At the party, Beatrice threatens the jungle man to avoid her daughter since they're inappropriate for each other. Hours later, Toki finally finds George and informs him about Ape. The king gently places his crocodile tooth pendant on Ursula's hand while she sleeps as he returns to the jungle to save his brother. The following day, the heiress tells her parents about George's sudden disappearance and Beatrice couldn't be happier, so Ursula realizes that her mother is involved. Beatrice mocks her daughter's relationship with George, but this enlightens the heiress about his true feelings instead. Arthur supports his daughter, so Ursula hurriedly follows the love of her life. George and Toki arrive inside a courier box the following day in Africa. The king puts on his sneakers and runs tirelessly to the treehouse. After two days, Thor and Max struggle to transport Ape away. They realize the shortcut they follow according to the signs isn't getting them anywhere. Ape explains that they're following a fake path that returns to the treehouse. Angered by being outwitted by an animal, Max tells Thor to push through to prove it wrong. Meanwhile, George finally arrives at the ransacked treehouse. Moments later, he hears bantering from the poachers, who realize that the ape is telling the truth. The jungle man pounces on them, but he misses, so the poachers smash his head into the cage. Ape gives him a pep talk, and he courageously faces Max and Thor. The poachers catch him, and George undergoes a tickle attack. Shep, Tookie, and the little monkey come to his rescue, and the king escapes his enemies. Max takes his hunting weapon against Shep, who's shooting coconuts at them. Fortunately, Ursula comes yelling from a swinging vine, saving their pet from the enemy. However, she collides with the tree, making George proud of being a good teacher. The heiress falls, and the king catches her as she starts confessing. However, her beloved leaves her to give Thor a spinning punch, knocking him out. George returns to Ursula to resume their talk, but Lyle interrupts them to declare that he's now part of a faction that allows him to marry anywhere, anytime. He drags Ursula with him, while George is subdued by his mercenaries. Lyle rushes away with his fiancée, following the shortcut sign near the treehouse. As the king gets carried by the enemies, the little monkey uses the bongogram to summon the apes. After learning about George's situation, the giant primates rescue him. In no time, the enemies are encaged under Shep's mercy while George and the apes hardly run after Ursula. The heiress tries to escape from Lyle, but they fall into a pit that brings them to a waterfall where a boat is miraculously waiting. In the meantime, George swings from vine to vine, looking for his beloved. On the other hand, Lyle commences his wedding vows with Ursula, but the woman refuses to answer him and warns him about the rapids. The woman does her best to paddle the boat while Lyle hangs on to his dear life. Fortunately, George spots them and courageously grabs a vine for his biggest swing to rescue his beloved. He collides with a massive tree that breaks in half. The trunk luckily falls above Ursula's head, and the jungle king grabs his lady to safety. Meanwhile, Lyle's boat enters a dark cave. Obsessed with getting wealth from Ursula, he officiates his wedding, thinking his fiancée is with him. As the vows get completed, Lyle turns on his lighter, only to see a female ape accompanying him. The primate showers him with smoochies as they officially become husband and wife. On the other hand, Ursula doesn't waste time and confesses her feelings toward George. The Jungle King reciprocates her love, and they share their first kiss. Afterward, guests from San Francisco arrive to celebrate the couple's wedding in the jungle, where Ape is the official while Tookie is the ring bearer. 
Both humans and animals enjoy their time at the wedding reception while the newlywed couple stares lovingly into each other's eyes as they ride Seth to their honeymoon. Years later, the Jungle King and his queen happily stand by the cliff to show their son the jungle he'll reign in the future. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.